Hi, welcome to Inspire Method Marketing YouTube channel. We're so glad you joined us today for another episode of Marketing Tips and How to Grow Your Business. <laughs> Do it with style. So today we're going to talk about a really hot topic when it comes to marketing nowadays, and that is traditional marketing versus digital marketing. So old awesome. way versus the new way. And my name is Karen, and this is my husband Trevor. We Hi are there. Co-owners of Inspired Method Marketing, and that's why we're here today to teach you all that we know and help you grow your business. So, if you're not putting relative content in relevant places, you don't exist. And that's Gary Vaynerchuk. Awesome. He always tells it like <clears> it is. <laughs> it's always like point blank. Um, so, SEO, which is search engine optimization, has. 14.6% conversion rate as compared to 1.7% of traditional outbound methods such as cold calling and emails. So that's a big difference. That's huge. So the problem that we found is business owners think that they're saving money by investing in traditional marketing methods like print media. What they don't realize is that their customers are looking online for their next purchase. That's a big, big deal. Yeah. Yeah, we had that uh, uh, customer the other day. He's, mm -hmm. He mailed out over 60,000 mailers. He got four responses and zero sales. And that's That's, terrible. that's absolutely <laughs> awful. Um, you know, I don't know what he spent on that, but I'm sure it was a pretty penny that had saw no return. So. Yeah, and not only did he spend the money on creating it, or somebody <clears> did, <throat> but he also spent the money on... Um, the, the papers to make it and then delivery of it that yeah. seems like such a big waste when there's such great methods out now mm -hmm. to get your business visible so what's the biggest problem then for any new business biggest problem for any new business is nobody knows you mm -hmm. nobody knows who you are nobody knows anything about your business and you don't really have a reputation and because of that um, you know the phone isn't going to be ringing magically the whole field of dreams quote, if you build it, they will come, just doesn't work with new businesses. Um, and we can attest to that. We've seen it before and we've experienced it. You have to be promoting your business um, all the time in order to get any traction out of it. So yeah, you're battling obscurity. So is, if getting out of obscurity is so important, why shouldn't a new business spend money on print media? Well, the biggest problem with that is we are inundated day in and day out with thousands and thousands of marketing messages and really we've gone almost blind to print media messaging. We are just, you know, when the, the messages come in, marketing messages, we just ignore them. And for the most part, marketing stuff is ignored. Like anytime I pick up the mail here, uh, my first stop is at the recycle bin because, <laughs> <Right beside it. laughs> because I'm not interested in, in any of it. Like your coupons, your Valpacks, um, your your brochures, brochures yeah. whatever it is, I'm just not interested. You can't just um, come into my space and tell me I have to buy something. Today, people are seeking out information. They're not wanting information pushed on them because frankly, we're just, just kind of tired of it. Yeah, you can only yeah. keep so much around. So then, okay, print media is not so hot anymore, but what about radio ads? Should we be spending money on radio ads? Well, that's a that's a good question because you know radio it does have its place but I think when you're a brand new business it's just it's not going to be effective. I know a few different businesses that I've uh, done business with in the past who spent money on radio ads and unless you're you're committed to that sucker for a whole year and maybe more and very frequent and spending thousands of dollars on it um, you're just not going to get your money's worth out of it. It it just you won't see that return. And another problem with radio ads is how do you measure how many people actually heard your message yeah. and how do you know if they acted on that message? You don't. There's no way to really track it well. No, the data is just not available. So besides working your warm contacts, because contacts, we all have those um, in life, where should a small business start when it comes to digital marketing? Well, a small business should start at the very least by securing a Google My Business location uh, with Google. That is the very foundational spot they should start. And from there, they need to be starting to, to think about creating and building content to place on a website. So 
to do that, you have to know what problem you're solving, your vision, mission, and the values of the company. So you can start thinking about your brand and, and your service offering. So it's very important to, you know, the very minimum, because it's free and because Google likes it when you, when you like them and when people like you, mm -hmm. you should get started on Google first. Okay. So why should a business start then with a YouTube channel? Well, YouTube is a, an amazing way to help you start building content for the website. Because search was invented for people to get information. For people to get information, you have to have content. You're providing relevant content to your audience, information that uh, is informative, and information that people uh, find valuable. So if you are continuously adding new information via YouTube, via that YouTube channel, then when you have your website built, you aren't behind the eight ball, you're kind of ahead of the game and you can start building a content snowball, as I call it, so that you can win mm -hmm. with Google rankings. So, well, what about Facebook? Shouldn't a business maybe start with Facebook first? Mm. That's a good question. You know, Facebook is very, one of, like the top um, social media network out there. And I understand why a business would want to maybe get a start there. I've even seen people who have completely bypassed a website mm -hmm. and went straight to Facebook. The only problem with that is unless you are committed to spending money on ads, mm -hmm. then Facebook, a Facebook page isn't the best place to start because getting organic reach and, and organic followers, it's almost the same as trying to get word of mouth. It's very difficult to do organically, but um, if you put some ad dollars behind it, you'll get some more traction. But typically any social network, you want to funnel that social to your website because you don't own that platform. I mean, what if Facebook shuts down? Your whole marketing system is gone, right? Or, or changes a rule. Yeah, they could change a rule. Change and it just mm -hmm. messes everyone up like completely. Exactly. You don't own that platform. You don't own Instagram. You don't own any of these platforms. So you should have um, a website that you can because you own it. Right. You own that website. You own the information on that website. So um, if you're not, you know, at least working towards building that, you should definitely not start on Facebook. So then you've kind of answered my next question is when is the right time to build a website? As soon as possible. <laughs> as soon as you possibly can. Yeah. Um, no, seriously, you should do it in earnest. Start working on that content uh, snowball. Get your Google My Business page set up. You don't have to have a website to, to get that set up. Um, and even if you wanted to have something up in the meantime, you can put a free Google website up. They're not very good. And uh, I'll tell you right now, I've seen lots of them. They're, they're not great, but at least they're something. You can put your phone number there. People can contact you through there. And uh, at bare minimum, you've secured your Google My Business listing and you have a website for people to look at. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they don't look that good, <laughs> to no. be honest. And it kind of takes, for me, when I see something built by a Google website, a website built by Google, it just kind of takes some of the credibility away. So work <laughs> on that website. Yeah. Uh, so once the website is built, what, where should a business start advertising? Well, you can start advertising on Google using Google AdWords because Google loves when you use Google, mm -hmm. right? And you can start gathering information, right? You start gathering information with uh, a pixel on your web page. And from there, you can begin retargeting people who have visited your website. So all of your social media will be directed towards your website. So anybody who visits that website, you can then retarget them with your messages, with your ads, with your content. Okay. Yeah. So why is Facebook advertising better than traditional marketing like media, TV, print? Why is it better? Well, Facebook advertising and Google AdWords and these other places, you can actually track and measure data. So you get information back on who visited your website, you get information on, um, you know, you get demographic information and you can target your, your ideal and likely buyer. So you're not just, you know, throwing money to the wind and hoping that people will, will see your ad and, and buy it like on a billboard or radio ad or newspaper. Um, you actually have a, a, a database to work from that you can kind of hand pick and select 
who your ideal and likely buyer is. And then from there, you get back some information when you've run some ads and then you can make adjustments on your, your ad copy, your headlines, your images, and your audience. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot, of, lot more power in the hands of the advertiser than there was before. So that's why Facebook and Google AdWords and these are very powerful tools for you to use. Okay, and so obviously we made a great case for the new style of marketing mm -hmm. using digital, but should a business ever invest in traditional marketing? Um, you know, I think that there is a place for it, but once you're well established, once you're well established and you've got your, your digital marketing system set up and flowing and everything's running automatically, then you can begin um, putting some dollars towards some traditional stuff to what? Drive traffic to your website. So have the website running well, have a great no-brainer offer, an easy, easy to read site that people can get information easily on, and then start running some traditional advertising towards that. But in today's um, day and age, you really don't have to, but you can. Great. <laughs> well, I think you've probably figured out we're very uh, big advocates of digital marketing. Yeah. Obviously, that's what we are, a digital marketing agency. So if you need help or you want to get started today, today you can actually get started for $1 for your first month with no contract and no obligation. So hit us up underneath, um, like this video and follow us for more great videos on all things digital marketing. Bye. Have a great day. See you guys.